So I just filmed a video on this look, which is my sort of take on a sort of easier, low-key glam um, for formal or prom, as opposed to my last one, which was more like smoky blue eyes sort of thing. This is more of a lazy girl cut crease, wing liner makes you look like you put so much more effort in, etc, etc, etc. Um, and I hope you enjoy watching the video. See ya! I'm just starting off by going in with my NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint Foundation and with a brush and then after going in with a brush pouncing a sponge over what I just put the foundation on with. It'll just give a more coverage look and sort of more airbrush as well which will look better in photos because if you just use a brush you could come up with streaky foundation um, but if you use just a beauty blender you might have to use more product and more etc etc priming lips with the um, a Lucas Pawpaw ointment just use any lip balm really just because you don't want dry lips so going in with the NARS Liquid Laguna Bronzer, I'm just going to dot that all over the face and then blend that with a beauty blender for a more airbrushed look. Well, you may want to look super tan, just think about what it's going to look like in photos and then decide from there. Okay, then going in with a contour, going with a contour stick, the Smashbox contour stick, I'm going to carve out the cheekbones, the sides of the forehead, and then the nose. I'm just going to go in a tiny bit with this bronze stick just to even, just to, you know, be extra. Going in with the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And what you want to do is you don't want to go right underneath your eyes for this. You want to go here. And have like a really lifted look. Don't go directly under the eye. If you need to color correct, which, you know, I kind of do. If you have dark circles, either use a concealer. Like, a, that's the same tone as your foundation. Or use a... a, a, a peach concealer underneath your foundation and that will cancel out the purple of your eyes. So you just want to bounce that in and because you, if you do it underneath it will sort of migrate under there and have some coverage but that's not where the highlight will be f concentrated or focused, you know what I mean? Quickly put on a cream highlight, well I call this a cream highlight but some may say it's a powder highlight it's a, it's the um, super, uh, a highlighter from ColourPop. It's the, it's Install the Show. And then I'm going to powder and then I'm taking the Australis, so beaten up, the Australis Banana Powder. And I'm just taking this good old angled contour brush and just panning that in. Not too much and just setting my under eyes. Also just carving out that contour by going underneath it just to make it a more defined line. It's the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm going first in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz just to carve out where I want it to go and then I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow which is just like a tinted brow gel, but really pigmented. Um, and just going through the brow hairs like that. So, yeah. So using that brow gel will ensure that your brows will stay in place all night. And also it will ensure that there's even amount of product throughout the whole hair of your brow. Put the concealer under where you want your brow to be clean. 
on top. I'm gonna go in with a primer to set, um, to put on the eyes because you want your eye makeup to last the night. So I'm going in with the Air Patrol. And then I'm just going to set that with a, um, just with this contour, this, um, pink contour shade from the, um, Kat Von D shade light palette. Just, just by literally just dusting over it. I'm going to be going in with the Naked palette by Urban Decay. I don't actually think I really technically use this at all. Um, but I'm going in with the shade Naked, and I'm just putting that in pretty much all over the lid, up to the crease. And then what I'm going to do after this is I'm taking the next matte shade of the palette, which is called the Buck. I'm just going to go in with the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of Born Fresco and Love Letter. Just a tiny swash, just to make it a bit more pink. And then I'm going to take the shade Tempera. Tempera. The lighter shade, and just put that in the center of the eye with a flat um, crease brush. I'm also just going to put a swat, a tad bit more love of Love Letter, the pink colour, in here. I'm going to take the shade Sin um, and a bit of Half Baked. I'm just going to take with this same fluffy brush the shade um, Virgin. And put that on the high points, the, the brow bone, because that'll look really quite pretty. I'm also going to take the same shade on a little pencil brush and put that right in the inner corner. You can skip this step and just put on like eyelashes or no eyelashes, do whatever you want. I just think it would look, this look would look really good with eyeliner, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do the line part really thin. Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. And then I'm also just going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm going to be taking this um, bronzy sort of shade as per usual from the Kat Von D palette. It's the shade Shadow Play. And then I'm just taking the uh, grey shade and I'm putting it right where the contour is and then I'm going to um, concentrate it with a smaller brush on that same contour. To tie in the pink look I'm taking this pink blush from Tarte. It's in the shade Fancyful and I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks going back to my hairline. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. I love it. I love it. Oh. I'm going to go in with the shade Pink Heart, just to go with this whole pink look. Taking the Naked palette, I'm taking the Buck and Naked shade and dusting them underneath my lash line. I'm also going to contour my nose, just snatch it like just that little bit more, you know, just taking the Kat Von D and a, and a fluffy crease brush. Flips, I'm going to take this Bare Minerals um, Marvelous Moxie Make Your Move lipstick. It's just a mini, but it's really pretty, and I don't think I've really used it before, so... I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this Smashbox lipstick. In the shade Audition. 
so that's it um uh yeah so um this is just my take on a like sort of more to low low key formal sleigh thingy and um yeah so i'll see you in the next video bye